natural gas showed a major swing yesterday achieving the highs at 2.84 and the lows at 2.6 and below levels yes after showing a swing it has come back to the opening levels at 2.74 what does this mean can we expect gas to trade bearish again or is it going to reverse from the current levels what is going to be our strategy trading net gas today we will see with the help of charts and indicators and i will give you the trading levels and strategy towards the end if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates and do like share and comment friends that's always a great motivation for me to deliver to the best of my abilities let's start first we look into our look at the early charts look at the formation here on this formation you will find the rise retracement lower lows rise again higher slightly higher highs then again coming back to the normal level so you can see from these levels this is the median here 2.6 this is the median here 2.8485 and it is just trying to trade with the median at around 2.72 thus as long as 2.72 is respected do not treat gas as bearish only below 2.72 we can initiate a selling position today now what has happened after the rise here it has retraced and if it breaks out now beyond 2.7778 zone you can buy again and expect it to rise more let's have a further detailed look stochastic at oversold levels MACD has retraced. It is trying to convert crossover for sell. Right now it is in green. RSI is flat. Coming to two hour. Look at the two hour charts. Rise retracement. Rise retracement. This time the prices are just divergent from the twenty period. It is now looking upwards. And possibly once it stays beyond two point seven 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 eight zone, we can look forward to another round of rise towards two point eight one, two point eight five. And this time we can look forward to two point nine one and three dollar levels as well. Right now, it is taking support from twenty period moving average. Just wait for it to stay above two point seven 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 eight zone. The stock I think has dropped. MACD has crossed over for sell again. RSI is flat. Coming to three hour charts. Look at three hour charts. It's still trading bearish. Price has just converged towards the median. The Bollinger Bands. The twenty period moving average is two point seven two and the pivot at around two point seven one five. Very 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 strong support here for gas on the downside. But yes, as in how it breaks below two point seven to two point seven one zone, we can look forward to little bearishness towards two point six eight and two point six five levels. Two point six five very good support. Two point six stronger support. Moving average is trading with divergence and bullishness. Stock I think has retraced. MACD is divergent and bearish here. Look why MACD see MACD has seen the highs. It has come to the levels from which it has seen the rise. A crossover here can shoot up the prices again. RSI looking downwards. That's a slight bearish sign. Coming to four hour. Look at four hour charts as well. See track the movement rise retracement rise retracement lower lows then a stronger rise. Couple of retracement candles, and it is looking upwards again. Thus, once it breaks past by 2.78, we can expect it to move higher, and then 2.81, 2.85 are the two levels it needs to break past by. If you see prices staying about this, certainly you can say net gas has turned bullish and it is going to fly high. Any point of time, if you see in this week, net gas is staying about 2.85. Remember, a stronger rise. Is there on the cars towards 2.91, and I will expect it to move past three dollar levels as well. Now, if you notice on the four hour charts here as well, it is taking the support from the 20 period moving average. Thus, you have to be cautious of 2.72 levels. Once you see the higher prices below 2.72715 zone, then only we can say that now we can initiate a selling position here and expect it to trade with a slight drop. Let's have a further detail look. See, moving averages are here. Trading with divergence, trading bullish, good sign here bulls for the bulls. The stock is still looking down. Look at MACD. This is again looking down. It has crossed over at top and it is trading with divergence. Uh, this is what is making little cautious. This is what is making me little cautious that it can continue to trade with the bearish price from here. RSI is looking down. Coming to the daily charts. Before we look into the daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can be part of my 28 mentorship batch commencing in third week of January. Register yourself now. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, all your queries are answered on my platform www.forexfunder.com, where besides the details of the mentorship batch, you'll also get the economic calendar, the live charts with advanced tools, the uh, community of traders, and also you can. Book a call with me if you need any consultation, guidance, or suggestion. And yes, this call can be completely free if you're part of my webinar series where every Sunday I give you the deeper insights of the markets and strategy to profit. Do register for the webinar, and if you just want to trade as per the signals 
on my telegram channel be a part of my signals channel on telegram reach out to me for more details on telegram or email join the free telegram channel for live updates now look at the daily charts see what has happened on the daily charts we have seen higher highs here we have seen a swing candle it has achieved the lows and now it has come to an indecision point now once the next candle see first of all where this candle closes and where the next candle begins if with the next candle you see the price is staying below 2.72 you can again expect that it can try to move towards 20 period moving average again and in fact lower lows which means 2.6 2.58 zone can be seen again but remember 2.6 2.58 zone is going to be very very strong support stochastic here is overbought MACD trading with divergence and bullishness looking upward see it is showing a v-shaped recovery here rsi has seen a it is now looking downwards considering this for the day one can buy here at 2.77 levels rather after that one can look forward to 2.81 2.85 now any point of time today tomorrow this week any point of time if you see natural gas is staying about 2.85 you can buy again expect 2.91 and then i will look forward to three dollar levels in this week itself but right now it is not showing such bullishness Thus, we have to trade with caution. On the downside, a selling entry can be taken at around 2.715 levels, below which you can expect 2.6968 as the first targets and then 2.65 as the next. If it stays below 2.65, it can try to breach below the lows from yesterday where it has achieved 2.6, 2.58 zone. Thus, you can take your positions accordingly. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship by join my ch telegram channel, join the signals channel and you can be part of the webinar series as well. Reach out to me for any of your queries. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.